Hello everyone, Genesis Rider here with another Genesis Tips and Tricks video. Today I'll be showing you another perfection on the map Ragnarok and Big Team Infinity Slayer. A perfection is when you get 15 kills or more in a Slayer game type without dying. You can see this is from my point of view here. I charge to the left with the sniper rifle because so I'm waiting to see who's going to pick up the rocket launcher which spawns to the left here. This is not um, after the January 3rd update. This is actually before the January 3rd update, but hopefully it'll still be useful to you guys because it doesn't have any gameplay with the battle rifle or anything like that. Checking to see if the rocket launcher got taken. It did. Always use your sniper rifle on enemy vehicles. If you notice at the beginning there I used the sniper on the Banshee, then right there I use it on the Ghost. The sniper rifle does a ton of damage to vehicles. The Binary rifle does a lot of damage to vehicles as well. Always put bullets into enemy vehicles to make sure that they're weak for your teammates to clean up. Right here, I end up going for this guy. I'll quickly check and see if the Mantis is pushing out again, it doesn't. I helped my teammate, he would have gone around and around with that guy for a while. Questionable call right here on my part. The damage boost is best used in small tight quarters locations. Using it with something like a huge power weapon like incineration cannon or rocket launcher isn't very useful because it's already a rocket launcher. Why would you need to damage boost that more? Damage boost weapons that don't have a lot whole bunch of power to begin with that aren't one-shot kills to begin with, like the battle rifle or the DMR or even the light rifle even better because it's a four, with, with zoomed it's a four-shot kill. That would be even a better use of it. Have a pretty good position here. I don't any, end up killing anyone with that damage boost which is frustrating. I catch a guy not moving. Very unwise to not move in big team battle, especially when the enemy team has a sniper top middle. I end up saving that teammate as I get shot from their base. I sprint back behind here and reload. It also gives me my camo, some time to recharge. Go back into the camo and start getting some headshots. Lucky triple kill here. I'm loading out with ammo, camo, the armor ability of course, and then AA efficiency, which recharges my camo quickly and brings it back faster. Notice how I got a lot more camo I could use there on the left because it just immediately starts recharging. It's actually really nice. Headshot there from Killing Frenzy. And I get another good triple kill here. Got a rocket, minor rifle, and speed boost. Don't end up getting the overkill on both those uh, triple kills. I look for the overkill, but it's not there. Pick up the binary rifle here. Very careful when you use a binary rifle on top middle like this. This is may not be the wisest position, but I haven't noticed any snipers or vehicles on their end, so I, I think I can pull it off. They can see exactly where I am when I'm zoomed. When you're unzoomed, that beam does not appear out of the front of your rifle. I don't zoom as much with this weapon because it has two red light beams shooting out of it. A guy tries to sneak up behind me right here. Very sneaky play on his part. He snuck all the way below me um, around and came up behind me. My teammate helped me out there a lot. Very nice of him there. Notice what I see here. Holy crud, there's someone in their base not moving. What does that tell me? He's most likely using a sniper. Sure enough, when I zoom in here, He's using a sniper rifle. This means I need to be very careful and not peek up too much over top middle as I quickly switch back to my character here and continue the commentary. I need to be very careful how I approach this. Unfortunately, I'm not able to take him out until I deal with this guy behind me. Now, I shoot that guy right there. A lot of people would say, what, what the crud, Genesis? You just stole his kill. Well, kill stealing is basically non-existent in a game where people get assists for the kill. It's all counting for the score. If you don't have any obligation to shoot anyone else or you're not under fire from anyone else, always put shots on the people in front of you. 
Never assume that, oh, that's my teammate skill. Only assume that if you cannot, physically cannot, clean up that kill. Get that guy one shot as he charges back there. Always camo before I go up and peek over top middle, unless I'm sure it's safe here. Wait for my shields to regenerate before popping back up. That's probably the most cause of careless deaths. People just don't wait. They're not cautious. They're not careful and hanging back like this. They just peek their heads out and bam, they get sniped. I'm looking for that sniper again. I have not forgotten about him. A lot of pro players would have forgotten about that guy, and I haven't. He's sitting right there again because he hasn't moved his location. Another bad idea. Always change up your position constantly. And as you can see, what am I doing right now? Do I push back up to the same position I sniped him from? Absolutely not, because most likely he's going to spawn at his base. Run back into his base and pick up the sniper rifle again and start using it. So I'm very careful to move my position to throw him off so he won't see me. The Banshee right here, I put two shots into the Banshee. Again, always put those shots into those vehicles so that your teammates can help clean them up. And as you can see, boom, the Banshee dies. You can actually, I can actually hear that right now, right then, on my Astro 40 surround sound headset that I'm using. You may not be able to hear that in the video. That just comes with time. You'll recognize explosion sounds and be able to see people in camo like I'm about to do here in the film. Guy's using camo. What does he do? He sprints over here. Now he knows I'm here because he probably was able to see me. Do I charge down and try to kill him immediately? No, that would be very bad because he's using camo of some sort and he's camping. So he would get the first shot on me. I wait for him to make a mistake and peek his head out. Why he doesn't look top middle when he pops out is beyond me. He's actually looking at the bongos. I don't know. Why? Rampage for the 20 kills without dying here. Guy above me. You need to be very careful here. He drops under the water, doesn't see me. I'm able to put some shots into him. Clean him up. Sloppy DMR shots on my part. That's the reason why is because I'm actually playing split screen here. The theater mode shows it as full screen, but when I played this game, I actually was playing split screen. So my DMR shots are going to be horribly off, but my sniper is going to be dead, almost dead on, because it feels like when you're playing split screen that your sniper is a little more zoomed for whatever reason. You don't have all that extra screen distracting you when you're sniping. Guy pushing up again on my radar. Gotta be very careful here. Look how he charges top middle and then uses camo. A very bad idea. You want to camo and then slowly push up over top middle to where your head is barely peeking out so you can check out your surroundings guy charges up here. I'm noticing my radar, looking at where my teammates are. I need to be very careful to try to protect them. My gold runs out, but there's a guy chasing him right behind. I immediately zoom in, binary rifle him. My teammate has a guy pushing in on him. Unfortunately, I don't clean up this kill fast enough to save it. my teammate as my other teammate charges back and tries to help him as well. Hide behind cover here, peek out to make sure my teammates are not needing any help. Now I need to be careful as I safely call down this ordinance to make... Notice how I check everywhere. I check to make sure that no one is out in the open before I call down this beam rifle. Look at my teammate Fire sitting to the right of me. He has a sniper rifle. What am I going to do because of that? I'm probably going to end up moving positions after I peek out here and make sure that everything is okay. See a guy charging? End up helping people clean that up. Not sure how I didn't get an assist there. That's the first out of two times I get an, do not get an assist for a kill I clearly assist. Push over here again because my teammate Fire is on the right hand side and he should be pushing top middle. And if we eventually look, if I eventually look to the right here, there he is. He's sitting top middle with the sniper rifle right there and he's in a very good position as well barely peeking his head up over the top very good very smart play on his part again this is a less good position to be with the sniper rifle um, i let fire take the more optimal position top middle he can get more kills like that now i'm going to zoom back rerun the film here very quickly look on my radar at the red arrow on the very outer edge how it comes into view and holy crud it's a mantis need to be very careful of that. Good, very good play on my part here as I charge quickly, jump out of camo, and quickly 
get behind this rock. I call out the enemy commander's location to my teammates, and sure enough, there's Fire doing an excellent job of pouring his sniper rifle ammo into that Mantis. The goal is to get the Mantis' shields down to deter it and make it back up. Hopefully when it starts smoking or getting on fire, we'll be actually be able to kill it. Notice how my beam rifle does almost no damage to this Mantis' health. The beam rifle does very little damage to a vehicle's health. The binary rifle and sniper, though, do worlds of damage to the Mantis' health. While I'm charging back to my base here, it deem me unsafe to push to the middle because the Mantis is out and on the loose. I will mention that the beam rifle is amazing at taking down people's shields, especially vehicle shields like the Mantis shields. Uh, the Mantis is the only vehicle that has a shield bar. Uh, as far as the person goes, shooting a person in the head will immediately kill him. Now I'm in the same position that the enemy sniper was when I sniped him, so I'm going to be very careful in using camo here, trying to put some shots into that ghost. Look at this, how I maneuver myself from the left to the right, because this thing, again, is blocking my vision. This little block right here is blocking my vision, so I move to the right to make sure I'm not missing anything on the right-hand side here. Back, I'm noticing that we have a banshee on my radar here behind me. Uh, it's a banshee that just spawned, so I call that out to my teammates so they can get in it. Watch how this one shot takes down the mantis, the mantis remaining shield. Very good job here. My teammate ends up hijacking it, Max ends up hijacking it and destroying it. Very nice. So I know the mantis is now down, but there's some other vehicle out there. Notice the red, red arrow that temporarily appears on the side of my radar again. So I'm going to peek up here and sure enough, there's the Warthog. Get an amazing headshot on the Warthog driver. That gunner is trying to shoot our Banshee top middle. Um, I call that Banshee out to my teammate and he charged across the map with it. I end up sniping that guy out of the back of the Warthog as my Banshee comes back around the tower and oh man, he gets plasma pistol out in the distance. I am second kill. I'm not sure why I didn't be, get the assist there. Uh, about 90% of the time you do get the assist, but that other 10% of the time, for whatever reason, you just don't end up getting that assist medal. I'm not sure why. My teammate just sitting there waiting on the sniper rifle, as you can see there. I tell him that it's not going to spawn for a while. End up waiting around for a bit here before I can uh, re-grab our sniper rifle and move into an optimal position. Our ban their Banshee also is up, which is why I'm being very careful um, to hang back and not charge out and die. This would be a very bad time to die. Our Mantis is up, so I call that out to my teammate. He uh, gets in it and ends up charging out with it. Very good job on his part. Always want to get your vehicles out there as quickly as possible. I do end up getting an assist on this Banshee, amazingly. Notice how I put like three shots into that enemy Banshee, and I got three medals for doing so. Always put shots into people and their vehicles. Can't can't even explain it enough. Grab the sniper rifle with uh, 16 bullets of ammo. That's with the ammo you get a full extra clip of four bullets. Looking for people, I end up sniping that guy very well. He was aiming with that plasma pistol for our mantis. Look at this guy using a uh, railgun top middle. That's not where you want to be with a railgun. The railgun is a charged use weapon, which means you need to be behind a strategic cover position like this to use it. You can charge it, pop out, and then shoot it. Same thing with the bolt shot and the Spartan laser. You want to be behind cover while charging it most of the time and then pop out to use it as the charge gains full momentum and then you can fire it, of course. Pushing over to these rocks, I want to get a good view of their pelican. Sure enough, I spot an enemy sniper. How do I know he's a sniper? I can kind of tell by the way he's acting, by the length of his rifle. HD television is great at noticing that. And I end up accidentally sniping our man with his shields off there. I apologize to him through the chat. Get the kill, Joy. He'd obviously been sitting over there for a while. My enemy, my enemies try to hijack our mantis. I get the busted medal for protecting my teammate. Double kill. Doesn't end up dying in the mantis there, which is really nice. Why do I trade my DMR for a light, a 
beam rifle. I'm sorry, a binary rifle there. <laughs> I'm choking. <laughs> because the score is six kills until we end the game. Again, I sniped that guy on the pelican. I don't know why he wasn't watching over here. That's the same guy. He ran all the way back to pick up his sniper rifle and get sniped again. I don't know why he wasn't watching over here. Poor position on his part. I reload, let my camo regenerate here. Go back in the camo, look to the right here to try to find some people who are charging, but can't see them through the rock. That ends up being my last kill of the game. I get 34 kills in this game. And then game that is the victory. victory. If you guys could like or subscribe, that would be great. Uh, the final side note here would be that you're not, you're rarely going to get two binaries and a beam rifle in your ordinance. It's a pretty lucky film overall, simply because of that fact. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.